Hey, I'm Troy Sivan, and you're watching me on the Adam Bomb Show. My youth is yours, tripping on sky, sipping waterfalls. My youth, my youth is yours, run away now and forever. My youth, my youth is yours, the truth so loud. Look who I, and I don't get to say this every day, Mr. Troy Savon sitting next to me on the Adam Bomb Show. Thanks for doing this. No, of course. Thanks for having me. And what you're doing is going to see these literally out of their mind fans for you. What is it like to have fans that are literally coming to your shows and screaming their heads off every night? It's insane. You know, I, I'm getting to go to places that I've never been before and to kind of feel that support there in, in those places is like, I feel like extra surreal and I've never been to Atlanta before and um, I'm just super, super stoked to be here and everything. Let, let's talk about that. You're going to places you've never been before. How do you get yourself acclimated not only to, to be a normal in a city but to perform at a high level? I think a big part of it has been the bus. Um, last tour, I flew around, and we, we just did like nine shows across the U.S., but um, I was like whacked. I was so tired, and um, whereas now, I feel like I haven't really like traveled. I sleep on the bus, and I wake up, and I'm in a new place, and get to go out. And I can't even imagine that, It's dude. so nice. Um, so I've been looking on your social media. You're all over New York, so I wanted to give you some Atlanta stuff. Ooh. Because last we checked troy loves Thanks. his new york stuff and i'm thinking why don't you come over to atlanta Wait, and get a little bit I of that southern this. stuff while you're opening that troy is there a favorite shirt you have i mean a lot of fans want to know some stuff that normally they don't get to ask you a shirt that you wear all the time or a jacket look it looks good for you Thanks. something that you bring on the road that you're like yeah I look good in this i'm gonna wear this um well i'm trying to like switch things up and wear something fresh every every show um but then I just have like my standard like I I don't think I've washed these jeans since I since I embarked on since I embarked <laughs> I on this tour. No, so yeah, <laughs> I have my like my basic. I have like two pairs of shoes and like three pairs of jeans. Pretty simple guy then, right? Yeah, it's more just like the top half that I'll I'll switch up. Uh, Troy Savans on the Adam Bomb Show about to do this amazing show, which you're gonna see. Um, I want to know what your friends think about this because. You're young. Friends are probably young. Probably not the normal thing to do to be a pop superstar. <laughs> What's it like for them to see you, and what kind of reaction do they give you? It's weird. You know, I think um, I've been, like, sort of doing this since I was very, very young. And, um, you know, I started homeschooling when we were, when my friends and I were, like, 14. And, okay. Um, I, like, was doing movies and stuff like that. So I've always been doing stuff, and a lot of it has been happening outside of Australia. So I don't know if they necessarily, like, feel it on a day-to-day -day basis, but they just, like, know that I, like... I do this stuff on, yeah. on the side or whatever. And then, but then when I come home, it's like completely just like normal, like as if nothing's going on, which is amazing. That's why I like it. What was it like for you to hear your song, Let's Go With Youth, on the radio first time? It was insane. I, I, I heard it on the radio first time in Australia, and then I came to the U.S. to practice for my tour, and I was in L.A., and I heard it on Kiss, and I just like lost my mind. Did you? <laughs> I seriously was like screaming and, and doing the whole thing. I don't see you screaming and losing your mind. You seem like a calm dude. Really. No, I I I do when um like I often do after something's happened when it like when it really really hits me. That's yeah. when I'll get excited. Like for Fallon, for example, when I did Fallon, I was like the whole day I was super super calm and very very placid. Didn't really even get excited after I did the show, mm -hmm. and then I was at home at, well, at the hotel and I watched it on TV. And like was jumping on my bed watching the performance because I was cool so thing. stoked. Well, yeah, to see yourself on TV like that, that's amazing. I think I just like go into a mindset where I'm like, I need to focus. Like yeah. I can't be too excited right now. Of course. Troy Savon's on the Adam Bomb Show. I want to know what you do after a show. I've seen videos uh, of some of your performances. You really put everything into it. What's your downtime like? What do you like to chill out with? It's kind of hard. I don't think I, I've necessarily figured out like one way of, of um, you know, calming down after a show. I, I normally just like hang around a little bit and chill, yeah. chill with the band and like talk to them and, and then I'll go, you know what I do is I take a lot of baths. I oh take yeah? A bath, yeah? Bath like, salts and stuff? Yeah, bubble a little bit baths, sometimes, yeah. yeah. No, I know. I like bubble baths. The Mr. Yeah. Bubble in the pink bottle. Yep. It's good stuff. <laughs> All right, so tell me, last question here, Troy. Um, if we could put you in a karaoke bar with any other artist of all time, who would it be to sing with you? Uh, I just feel like I want to I wanna get drunk and do karaoke with Adele. Oh my god. Not because, I mean, obviously she would yeah. be amazing at karaoke, but not even because of that, just because I think she's like the funnest person in the world. She's probably really funny when she's drunk, too. Totally, 100%. <laughs> Look at that. Troy Savon on the Adam Bomb Show. Dude, thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate Thanks it. so much for having me.